Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Real Talk with Mickey D. Now in this video series I'm going to be unpacking the exact strategies that I use to ensure that I can play at the highest level in a personal and professional setting. Now today in episode number 2, what we're going to do is be breaking down how to stay in a good um, a good mental state. So how, what strategies I use to ensure that I can stay in the best mental state and play to my highest potential, okay? And I wanna make sure that you guys can do this as well. So we're gonna keep this as practical as possible. Now, when it comes to um, staying in the best mental state, so, so jumping right into this, um, it's really important that the environment around you is the correct environment. Okay, so I mean that in a whole number of ways, okay? So to ensure that you're in a good mental state, you have to ensure that your physical, your spiritual, your emotional, your, like every single aspect of your body is in a positive environment because positivity, like I'm sure we can all agree that positivity, like a, an environment filled that's positive is a good environment. Would you agree? I assume yes. Um, so. Then when it comes to staying in, in a mental state, what areas of your, in, your environment do you need to ensure are right so that, you can, um, so that you can play at the highest level? Now, the number one reason um, that I think that people can get out of a good mental state is that they're not surrounded by the right people. So the people who influence you are absolutely crucial to, I guess, making sure that you are in the right mental state. I strongly believe that your five closest friends have the biggest influence on your life. Now, breaking that down a little bit more, what it means is that the people you expose yourself to are going to play a factor in who you are on an emotional level and on a mental level, okay? And also on a capability level. So that if you want to you know, get better at business, okay, this is just an example for you guys. If you want to get better at business, it's really important that you surround yourself with the right people. Um, if you wanted to get at business, let's keep this binary, so yes or no. Um, if you wanted to get good at business, would you go hang out with a whole heap of people who are employees for for, for businesses, people who, who play at an employee level? Now, I'm not saying like business people are superior here, please don't take that. But what I'm saying is, if you wanted to get good at business, who should you surround yourself with? People who are employees or business people? It makes it makes sense there, okay? If you wanted to get good at golf, okay, would you want to spend your time with tennis players or golf players? Makes sense there. If you wanted to um, eat healthier, do you want to uh, spend time with people who who eat uh, McDonald's and fast food every day, or do you want to spend people who are fit and have healthy behaviours in their life to ensure that you know they can stay on top of their fitness? It's really important, and 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 you can very clearly say, I need to spend time with these people or those people. Okay, and you get to make a conscious and deliberate decision as to who you spend your time with. So number one is ensuring that the people you spend your time with are right for where you want to go. So breaking this back one step back, you need to ensure you know where you want to go. Okay, so I'm not going to cover that in this video, but assuming that you know where you want to go, um, you need to ensure that the people who surround you are, are feeding your fire. If you've got this little, little flame inside you and the people around you should be throwing gasoline on it not pissing on it. If, 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 someone, if someone isn't helping you get to your goal, they're probably not the right person to have in your life and you even need to reduce exposure to them. Some people you can't cut out. Family, it's really important that you don't cut those people out in most circumstances, but if they're not allowing you to rise up to your, your, greater, your greater potential, then it's important that you remove these people from having as much of an effect. So that's reduced exposure, okay? Now, Option, now like area number two to help you stay in a good mental state is also the, um, the area that you surround yourself in, the environment, okay? Um, it's, it's really important that like if you wanna be business minded that you're not, you're not hustling um, five days a week in a job, you come home and you're absolutely tired and you spend your time with, with lazy people as well, that's not gonna help you get there. So your overall environment as a whole is also going to play a key factor here. But I guess 
Highlighting what's really important here is that you're surrounding yourself with the right people. People are feeding your fire to get to where you wanna be and that's that's exactly what you need to do. So to, to stay in a mentally good state, my advice is to is to surround yourself with people who are also in that state and also on the same pathway and journey as you are. I hope that's been absolutely helpful. Um, thank you again for watching episode two of Real Talk with Mickey D. If you've loved what you've watched, all I ask you to do is simply subscribe below, leave a comment what you think, and if you have any, any uh, personal development or business questions in the future, just pop them below and I would absolutely love to go through them and help you guys out. That's all from me, see you later.